Good morning, good evening, good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen, citizens of YouTube. This is Pastor Dow. I want to talk to you this morning about a subject, a topic uh, that seems to be near and dear to a lot of people's heart. Whether you believe or not, or you don't believe, listen to me very closely. Uh, we live in this country, and in this country, people are supposed to have freedom of expression, freedom of religion. Um, you know, we're supposed to be a free people in a free society. What I am dealing with constantly, over and over and over again, and, and, and it's utterly amazing, and I want you to check me out on this. Everybody has freedom of religion until they start doing the truth. Because when these people start doing the truth, what happens is, is that there's an unspoken righteousness that is reflecting upon all the people who are religious, and they're feeling condemned. And when they feel condemned, the first thing they do is attack the people who make changes. I just got a sister who flew down here from Chicago, okay, and and she um, and she she was um, um, in a relationship, not married, and she started listening to me. She started picking up her Bible and started reading it, and she found out by reading the Bible. Mind you, she grew up Christian. She started reading the Bible and, and found out that what she's doing is wrong, so she made changes. Um, kicked the boyfriend out, no longer in a relationship no more, um, as now is following the Bible. Her whole family calls her a crackpot, a kook, a fanatic. Then they start to track down and chase down to see who she's listening to, which ought to be me. And then all of a sudden... I'm a crackpot, a kook and fanatic. Mind you, this woman stopped sinning. Now, let's go to the other side of the country. There's another brother that um, has been listening to me. He come to the knowledge of the truth that eating swine, what Americans call pork, is not right. As a matter of fact, if you're an Israelite, you should not be eating swine according to this book right here. Forget about what the Gentile nations say. Uh, I'll tell you what this book says right here. Forget about what religion says. Then people decided they was going to lace his food with pig, swine, which is a poison. And they started laughing about it. And, of course, the brother wanted to, he wanted to take some heads off some people. But you see what happening is, is that whenever you decided to make changes concerning this book right here, people will attack you and people will hate you for it, for no reason whatsoever at all. Now, mind you, you let them be. And let them do what they want to do. But I'm telling you, what it is, it's a spiritual condition. You see, because if this book was not the truth, and if we were not following the truth, and if you were not listening to me who was telling the truth, you wouldn't have this, all this opposition and all this attack. What is amazing, though, is that the people who start listening to the straightway truth ministry, is, watch this, they, they stop practicing sin. Meaning that if they were in a fornication relationship, they stop it. And their family and their friends call them crazy. You serious? They stop doing drugs. And their family and their friends call them crazy. They go watch me. And it's inevitable you watch any of my videos. You will see a firearm. But it's amazing how that they have been influenced they call it brainwashing. With all the injustices that we see that police officers do all across this land, somehow they feel safe that the police has a gun, but they don't believe that you should have a gun, even though the law of this land, Second Amendment, says that we have a right to bear arms. Why am I crazy? And, and then they call me violent. Now, I don't have a police record. Did y'all hear what I said? It's squeaky clean. I would be considered what you call a model citizen. It's just that I'm very expressive in words. You can pick and choose whether you want to listen to me or not. But why just all of a sudden just go out and start attacking folks because they decide to want to change. They want to change for better in their life. People are tired. They're tired of lies. And they're tired of people being hypocrites. They're tired of stage playing. 
And so when they come to me, they find out here's a man that is preaching and teaching the word. Not only does he preach it and teach it, but he lives it. And you know what happens? People find it hard to believe that somebody can actually preach this word, teach this word, and live this word. So you know what they end up doing? They'll buy a plane ticket or a bus ticket or they'll get in their vehicle and they will drive across the country just to come and spend a few days with us. And it confirms everything they see behind this camera on this video. It gives them strength to want to be holy. It gives them strength to want to practice the principles that this Bible lays out right here. What's amazing to me is, why can't I be free? If I even wanted to serve a tree, do I not have the right to serve a tree? If I wanted to bow down to a statue, if, do I not have a right to bow down to a statue? See, what's amazing is, we got people in this country that believe in having relationships other than what's ordained in this book right here. You know, the Bible teaches a man and a woman. And this society, they pass laws, they give sanctions, they call it hate crimes if you speak against that lifestyle. Nobody's saying nothing about that. You got the Roman Catholics that actually bow down and, and serve and talk to statues. Nobody says nothing about that. You got Christians who actually, who actually are serving and worshiping devils on a yearly basis. They're getting ready to do it again with this Satan Claus, who they call Santa Claus. And then immediately after that, they're going to be going and serving a God that actually dipped eggs in blood, call it Easter, and then tie it to the Messiah of my book, our book. And then they worship the sun freely. Nobody says nothing about it. But all of a sudden when you start. See that's how you know. That what we're doing it is the truth. Because if it wasn't the truth. You wouldn't receive all this attention. You wouldn't receive all this opposition. And, and now on the other side of the land. I got. Can you believe this? Can you believe this? I, I got a sister. Who husband. Has decided to take it upon himself to verbally and physically abuse her. Which you better hope that I don't ever see you. And the world think it's all right because, and you know what? And you know what his justification is? Look who she listening to. Look, she said, look, look, I want you to look at this video right here. You ain't gonna get nobody who lives in transgression. You're not going to get nobody who, who believes in breaking these commandments that's going to agree with one word that I say because they put their opinion over this book. Now, if you be a Christian, if you be someone who believes that this Bible is the truth and you should follow it, you in some serious trouble. You in some very serious trouble if we ever get in front of a situation to where myself or your preacher or myself or you can have a debate about this book right here and we only use this book as the sole authority, many of you are in some serious trouble. Because you're going to find out that you're wrong. And that book is right. And somebody is wrong. And the Bible is right. And what a train wreck. See, the problem is, is that these people fight to maintain their lifestyle. That what they want to do. And when you make changes, your changes brings about a spiritual conviction upon them. And they don't like it, so they begin to attack you. And they say... I have the right to be immoral. I have the right to express and have freedom of religion. But you don't. Is that not hypocritical? Is that not hypocritical? I said once, I said a thousand times. All your Christian pastors, all your messianic pastors, preachers and teachers, all your pastors, ministers in Islam, whatever religion you want to be, whatever you want to call it, your messages of Israelites or whoever you want to be or whatever you want to be. Whatever you want to be. Stop all the noise and all the nonsense. Because the issue is this, right? Let's get this book out. Let's get an open forum and a discussion going. Let's get a good meeting going where we can invite two to 500 people. And let's get a mediator. And let's just stick us across one from another. And let's see who's telling the truth. I'm willing to test that boast. I guarantee your preachers and your teachers are not. And that's the truth. And that's the truth straight away. Remember, the wicked flee when no man pursue it, but the righteous are as bold as a lion. And of course, me and you equate that passion and that boldness to pride. 
No wonder we all jacked up today. We, we, we can't even begin to even function and even process thought right. I tell you what, there's not too much hope left. There's not too much hope left when we're dealing with this kind of chaotic ignorance today. I, I'm telling you, it is utterly appalling and amazing.